Hi guys. So, um, welcome to 2024. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and do this without coughing. Uh, the reason I have my phone in my hand is I wanted to show you guys this real quick um, before I set it in its stand. So, my name is Candice. <laughs> it's my channel about cross stitch. Sometimes knitting, sometimes quilting. <coughs> this is what I was talking about. Um, I've been sick the entire month of December, and so have my kids. So it's fun, um, which is why I did not record a regular floss tube at all in December. But I do have um, a few little updates, but generally this is Whip Parade and 2024 plans. But I wanted to show you this because I got to hang it up finally for the holiday. That is Glendon Place, and it is Woodland Wonder. So, it is hanging up on the wall behind me, and I love it. There is no glass in it, um, because it's a seasonal, or er, kind of seasonal. Like, I hung it up at Christmas, but it'll stay up until spring now, because I love it. <laughs> um, and then this quilt behind me, you'll get to see the full thing in a little bit, but that is my only fully finished quilt this year. So, let me get you in here, hopefully without messing this up too much. Okay. Get comfy. Get com I don't know why I wore a sweatshirt. Um, I can't breathe, and I'm roasting. So, let's see. It's January 2nd. <coughs> Sorry. I don't think there's any way I'm going to get through this video without coughing. Um, let's see. I got sick shortly after Thanksgiving and I don't know if I had mentioned this before, but I didn't have insurance for a couple of months out of the end of the year of 2023. So of course I didn't want to go to the doctor. Um, but Evan, my youngest, who is 10, had had a cough since before Thanksgiving and it just kind of progressively got worse. So we finally got him I took him to urgent care and they were like, hmm, we'll give him this cough medicine that no one has had in stock in months, which I didn't know until I went to CVS. So we let it ride for a little bit longer, come around to uh, December, the weekend of December 16th. Owen has a cough now. And I was like, awesome. But mine was really bad. And I felt like I had bronchitis. So I didn't go to family Christmas at my mother-in-law's. My husband took the boys. I stayed home with the dogs. I slept a lot. I coughed a lot. Um, finally, gosh, what was it? Probably December 20th, 21st, I finally went to urgent care. <laughs> Did a chest x-ray, no pneumonia, nothing like that. And, um... No, they were like, we're going to give you antibiotics and a steroid and um, some, it's a cough medicine that is in pill form and it's, um, they're very small and I can take up to three a day. They really don't do anything. Uh, it turns out antibiotics have worked for none of us. Steroids have worked for none of us. My son, my youngest has an inhaler. It is not doing anything. This is just some viral crap that we have to just let hang out in our lungs until it finally goes away. So, um, breathing sucks. I get out of breath really easily. I've not worked that much this month. Um, kids go back to school on Thursday. So we should get back into a regular swing of things. But I keep trying to move around a bunch, trying to, like, get everything out of my lungs just so that I can breathe. Um... But I definitely, I get wheezy. So hopefully that doesn't show up. Like, I think the only way you'd be able to hear it is if you had earbuds in. But um, I will just try really hard not to cough. So I wanted to start by saying I hope everyone had fantastic holidays. Obviously, mine were full of sickness. Um, but we still, I mean, we still had, like, 
nice, quiet time. We've been watching football, college, and um, NFL. Go Lions. I don't know how many people can say that. I mean, if you're a Lions fan, you can say it this year. Um, last night, Michigan won the Rose Bowl, so we're going to the national championship. Um, I stayed up and watched the Texas-Washington game. Holy crap. I didn't know who to, uh, for starters, I don't care who won that game. But it's more fun to have undefeated go against undefeated. And Washington was undefeated. Um, Texas had one loss. So I was kind of like pushing for Washington. But then at the end of the game, they almost gave it away. And I was like, it's serve them right if Texas won. So it was, I don't know if y'all watched the Cotton Bowl yesterday, but. Um, yeah, so national championship next week. Pretty excited. Uh, let's see. So it is 2024. Um, I really, really, really wanted to get this whip parade done before the end of 2023. I did not have a chance to do any, um, final numbers for stats, like how many stitches I had for the year. <coughs> I will probably do that. Um, sometime this week. Sorry. <coughs> I cough and then I get out of breath. Um, probably sometime this week. And then on my next regular floss tube, I will have um, updated numbers as far as how many stitches I put in each project for the bigger ones. Um, one of them I do know exactly because I hit like a milestone on it. So um, let's start with I had one knitting finish for 2023. Last time you guys saw it, it was a whip. Now it's a finish. It is my Peach Fuzz sweater by Melanie Berg. Very excited. So, it's done. I think, last time you guys saw it, I was still working on the body and I was like right here. I think. Um, so, I finished the body. Maybe you saw it. When I had a sleeve done, I'm not sure, but there are threads everywhere in this house. So I have two sleeves. It has not been blocked yet. Um, with Christmas decorations and stuff like that up, I haven't had anywhere to block it. So it's done. The ends are all weaved in. Um... I just need to block it. So I'm hoping to do that in the next couple of days. We wanted to leave all the Christmas stuff up because my sister was supposed to come on the 21st of <coughs> December. Sorry. Um, and she's actually the one that convinced me to go to urgent care. She was like, you need to just suck it up and go. It's going to suck to pay for a chest x-ray out of pocket, but you need to suck it up and go. So um, and her husband was the same. They were on speakerphone in the van coming back from one of the kids' orthodontist appointments. And, uh, they were like, you just need to go. We'll see you in January. So they're coming January 13th. Um, I am going to leave all of Christmas up because that's, we're going to do Christmas with the kids. So, um, we're just going to leave Christmas up. But once Christmas comes down, I will get this blocked. And then hopefully I can wear it in one of my next videos for this month. Um, a couple other finishes. So this quilt here, I will put all the information down at the bottom because I don't remember off the top of my head what the quilt pattern was or, um, the exact name of the fabric I used. So this one looks like this. I had my boys do some modeling of quilts for me. This is the only one that's fully finished. Um, and then you'll see the back of it too. I just added a strip of scrap fabric. And then there... Actually, I can probably show you the label. It's in here somewhere. Hold on. Y'all know this is my favorite chair. This is my chair I got after my uncle passed away. Um, okay, we may be at a slightly different angle now, but the cord pulled the ring light forward. Usually I'm sitting downstairs and it 
sits against the front of my desk so it can't tip forward. Um, but it's a mess down there. Uh, you guys have. Oh, it's so bad. So here's the quilt label. I used to get these from uh, Sweetwater Quilt. Sweetwater Quilts. I'm trying to think of what the label, but it was a label club. And they would just send me labels um, throughout the year. So I just used some scrap fabric for the back. And then I just did like a meander. Um, and that's nice. Here's like my super awesome. I'm not even going to edit it out because you know how many pictures I have to add to this thing. I got quilt pictures. I got, there we go. Um, whip pictures. Let's fix my hair. I may not have this much hair next time you guys see me. Uh, my hair has been thinning drastically over the past two months and I don't know what's going on. Could blame it on perimenopause. I could blame it on, uh, I don't know, being 44. I don't know. But I may just cut it all off. We'll see. Um, so there are three other quilt tops. Now these I had worked on at the quilt retreat in June. No, July. Uh, that I went to with, um, Jenny is the one that like headed the whole thing up and did all the planning and everything for it. Uh, Janet Jabber was there, her sister Annette and their friend Cindy. Um, also my friend now. Um, and then a couple other ladies that we met and it was the most fun. We were at Shipshawana. I 100% will do it again this year. Um, so there are two of the quilt tops I got completely done there. The other one I got most of the blocks done and finished it here. So this first one is, um, a scrappy quilt from... There's a couple of different people who have tutorials for this. Um, I will link the one below that I used. The fabric is from Fig Tree, and it's called Catalina. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with this one because uh, all of those strips are sewn to interfacing. The interfacing is not coming out. Um, so I'm worried that if I use batting and then a regular cotton quilt back, it's going to be super heavy. It's already pretty heavy. Um, so I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just use like some flannel and just completely get rid of the batting. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet. So uh, when that one gets done, it'll totally be like an upstairs, you know, quilt throw over you when you're just sitting on a couch or whatever. Um, the next one I actually made for my bed. My husband and I have a queen size bed. Um, this fabric is, it's Lella Boutique. I'll put it down here because I forgot. That's another thing. My brain just totally doesn't work. Um, but the pattern is out of, wait, maybe it's Bonnie and Camille fabric. Ooh, well, you're going to find out. You'll know that I'm losing it. Uh, so anyway, it came out of a Bonnie and Camille quilt book. And I love it. I love it. But I really, really, really want to send it out to be quilted. Because um, it's beautiful. And it's huge. And I don't want to quilt it on my home machine. I want beautiful quilting to go with my beautiful quilt. So... I got to figure that out because it's not, it's not going to be cheap, which is completely understandable. Um, and it's just not in the budget at this point. Uh, and then the last quilt is actually using fig tree. It was a fig tree pattern. Uh, it came in a Jolly Bar from Fat Quarter Shop, I believe. Uh, you cannot buy it like separately. Um, it's called Christmas Cookies. And the fabric I used is Fig Tree also, and it is Christmas stitched. And I love it. I love these trees. I think I might do, like, a scrappy border 
like just um maybe like different size rectangles all the way around um and then a consistent binding or I may do a regular border and then a scrappy binding I haven't decided yet that one I <sighs> sorry if you heard the car horn People across the street are lazy and won't get out of their vehicles to go up to the door. They just, like, honk for their siblings to come out. Um, so, that one I will probably quilt myself just because uh, I really just want to save the money for the other one. But I don't know how I'm going to quilt it yet. I might just do a meander like I did on this one. Just a little bit farther apart. Um, let's see. So that was three quilt tops, one, I mean, it's not even a lap quilt, honestly. It could be a wall hanging. It's like a weird size, though, for a wall hanging. It's kind of big, um, but too small for a lap. So it just sits on my chair. Let's see. So since you last saw me, I did have one finish. I can't remember... If, no, I haven't been here since the um, Jingle Ball. So, I got the Mystery Sal from Tiny Modernist. And I grabbed a piece of 32 count linen. And I decided that I was going to do it on blush linen from Be Stitch Me. And it's called Merry and Bright. And I love it. And you guys will be able to get it next year if you did not get it at the Jingle Ball. And it looks like this. And I love it. And I haven't ironed it. And whatever. I don't care. Um, I just love it though. I love it. I love it on this fabric. It is. The fabric is a really pale pink. Um, it's the other half of the fabric I'm using for uh, fur. Did you hear that? Fur. Um, Hello Winter. By uh, Plum Street Samplers. So I just cut the other half off and used it for this. And I love it. It's very like mid-century modern colors. And I kind of wish, after I got this done, I was like, I should have used something that was a little more like peachy pink instead of like a cool pink. But whatever, it still turned out good. Um, yeah, I kept caught up with this and I finished it December 22nd. So, I just in love with it. Look at this reindeer. Mm. That's so cute. And there was only a little bit of backstitch. Um, there wasn't much at all. So, yeah. So, I had, that was my finish. And I went out of 2023 with 24 whips. But I only have 22 because two of them are going bye-bye. I'm going to show them to you, uh, but they're going bye-bye. So, real quick, since these are sitting here and I don't want them to fall over, I have a couple of things that I've gotten in the mail, and I wanted to show them because I think they're awesomely adorable. This is from Cherry Hill Stitchery, and it's called Rudolph's Reindeer Games. I love it. So cute. Um, I did get Fiddle Fern from Nora Corbett. And all of the threads and beads that go along with. And then I got these from... Shoot, Hollis Hands Creates maybe? On Etsy? Um, I mean, look at this. It's from Blackberry Lane Designs. And it's called Baby It's Cold Outside. This bird is just everything. I love it. And then I did get the first house in um for santa's house from uh sorry cottage garden samplings i got a little glare because i love it now i'm not gonna go and be all crazy and get every single house i'm only gonna buy them if i love them and i love santa's house so we'll see if i start those um and then i got my december threads because i dropped down to a the five pack from ten um, and then I canceled. So I'm trying to be really, I don't know. 
I don't know what the word is. Um, I don't know. My brain is just done. I want to make sure I'm spending money smart. <laughs> Smartly? I don't even know. Um, I'm just making up words now. I want to be definitely more... I don't know. You guys, I'm... I should just talk about my whips because it's the only thing that will come out correctly. But I canceled my Color and Cotton floss and I put a six month hold. Um, Brandy let me put my uh, fabric of the month on hold for six months. So um, I couldn't just cancel. So when I emailed her, I was like, I hate, I don't want to cancel. I've been a member for years. I have a ton of fabric. But at the same time, my husband and I both were like, we need to get rid of some of these like random subscriptions that we have. Um, things like XM radio that we don't even use anymore because I listen to Spotify in the van. So um, I was like, I'll take one for the team and I will get rid of my fabric and my floss. But I couldn't get rid of it. I was like, can I just do like six months? And then I'll convince my husband that it's worth it that I sign back up. <coughs> um, there is one other thing before I get into the whips. I gotta get the air back in my lungs. Um, there's a quilt along that they're doing in the Fig Tree and Friends Facebook group. And so it's from this magazine, American Patchwork and Quilting. This is the current one that's out right now. And it is, um, well, I mean, you could do either. This is a more modern version done by a different designer. And then this is Joanna's version from Fig Tree. So all of the instructions are in here. And so the only thing, if you have scrap fabric, it's perfect for it. Um, I have a bunch of Fig Tree scraps. I'm hoping to go through those and figure out, let me see if I can get the... If they show the full version or any other different colored versions in here. Where is it? There's actually a couple of amazing quilts in here. So this is definitely not the only one. That Okay, so here is what it looks like. I'm going to kind of cover up the fabric requirements and stuff. But there's what it looks like all laid out. She used like greens, um, obviously low volume for her whites, and then like a peachy center. So I don't know what color I'm going to choose yet. I've seen red ones, green ones, yellow ones. They all look amazing. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I do want to start this. I need to clean my craft space first before I even start thinking about pulling fabric. All right, let's do these whips. I have my trusty, there we go, so I can tell you when I started all these, because I'm going from oldest to newest. I did it last year, I did it the year before, oldest to newest. This is my oldest whip. I have three whips still from 2020. I started stitching in 2019. So this is... Halloween and Cross Stitch by Corey Bedicor. 28 count, <coughs> sorry, tea dyed Monaco. Um, here is where it was at the beginning of 2023. And I did have this on my WIPCO board, and it is the only goal I did not meet. I met every other goal except for this one. So that's where it is now. And I did get a lot done. It just didn't get finished. And the one goal that I didn't finish was 1,000 stitches. I literally probably could have just filled the white in behind this. And I would have hit my goal. But I got a wild hair. Because I was really close to a big number on one of my full coverage pieces. And so I stitched that on New Year's Eve instead of this. 
Okay. I'm just going to throw everything down there, hopefully. We'll see what happens. So I started that one January 29th, 2020. If I wanted to be all fancy, I could try and finish it by the 29th of this month before it's fourth birthday. That's insane. All right, next up. This one is artwork by Ruben McHugh. I got it from Charting Creations. It is called Christmas Pixie. I started this one on November 15th of 2020. And this is what it looked like at the beginning of 2023. And that's where it is now. It's on a 25 count easy grid, one over one. I love this flower. Oh, it's so much confetti though. So much. I mean, obviously I did not work on this one as much as I thought I was going to this year, but it's okay. This is my biggest full coverage piece. It'll end up being about 16 by 16. Um, but I love it. And I'm getting really close to the edge. It's like right here. So if I could finish this band and move it this year, that would be awesome. Okay. Next up, this is the last one for 2020. It is called Summer Blooms. Now, there's a caveat with this. Because I started it in 2020 on this piece of 14 count platinum Ada. And you couldn't see the white stitches. There's a ton of white stitching in here and you can't see it. The white and light yellow, you couldn't see it. So I restarted it. On a 32 count platinum Lugana. Um, so I did not touch this this year. I'm 99% sure. Because there's, wait, here. <laughs> it's like I forgot how to do this. So what it looks like. Oh, goodness. So I have fall and spring done. Oh, fall, spring, and winter. Summer is the only one I have left. Um, so this is, I mean, you can see where I was. I, th I don't think I had any progress on this. But this year it's on my Whipco board. Um, so I also made sure that I measured, I don't know if you guys remember the other three. Somehow I started way too far down and I had like maybe an inch at the bottom. Like it was... It was rough when I got to the bottom. So this one I had started in December. December 5th of 2020. But it's on my Whipco board. I should, if it doesn't get finished this year, at least it'll get a lot of progress. Okay. Trying not to knock that down. This next one I started March 8th of 2021. This came out of... The magazine that accompanied the Craftways Keepsake Calendar 2021. And it is... So, I already finished the deer. I'm working on the fox. It's on a 40 count bronze age by Be Stitch Me. Here's where it was at the beginning of the year. It literally had like the tiniest start. Um, and then this is where I got to this year. I had it on my whip go board for a thousand stitches. And I think I did just a little bit over that. So, um, this dandelion. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's from Barbara Anna, by the way. The only place you can get it is that magazine. But I love it. And I did start on the fox. It's got a little leg. <laughs> I'm really hoping to finish this one this year. Um, but, you know, there's always shiny new things that pop up. So, I just, I enjoy the process. I, I'm not very motivated to fully finish stuff. So, okay. Now, I was working on this one today. So, I'm going to do a couple of things. 
first, this is Mini Home for the Winter. I started this one. Oh no, why did it do that? I do not know what I did. Oh, there we go. Okay. I started this one July 1st, 2021. It is a retired chart from Heaven and Earth Designs. Lucy Pitaway is no longer a um, designer that paid charts. Um, I know she does a few things with Boffy Threads, and, but it all comes in kits. You can't just buy the PDF. Um, so it's Mini Home for the Winter. Here's where it was beginning of 2023. I'm just going to show it to you now because I didn't do that much on it yet. Um, here's where it is now. Sorry, I have thread. It has been rolled up because I'm down to the bottom. Um, I've done a ton of white stitching. Hopefully you can see that. Um, the only thing I've done so far today is the red on this bird. Everything else was from 2023, but I did... I think it's like 82 stitches is what I've done so far today. I still have my red right here because I'm going to finish up his red and then at least I'm getting a little more color in here because um, it's been a lot of white, a lot of white in 2023. So let's set this down here. There we go. Okay. Um, I wish I had how many stitches I had done on that this year. This next one is Lily One from Light Unicorn Designs on Etsy. This is a piece that I was doing um, because I had lilies in my bouquet when my husband and I got married. And I started this August 20th of 2021. And I was like, I'm going to have this done by our anniversary. One, one month later. We got married on September 18th. I thought I was going to get this done in a month. It's been like two and a half years now. So, um, yeah. This is what it looks like. Fully finished. I'm not stitching the white background. I'm letting my fabric be the background. Um, here's what it looked like at the beginning of the year. And that's where we're at right now. So I actually got, this was on my Whipco board, but it didn't get called until the end of the year. It was either November or December. But I got all of this done, like all of that pink done in like two days in December. I just kind of went crazy. And then I started working on, um, I'm basically color completing at this point. I love it. This is a 32 count Lotus Lugana. Yeah, um, from Be Stitch Me. I'm doing it one over one. This thing would be huge if I did it two over one. Or, if I did it over two. Two over two. Um, as it is, it's pretty good size. It's 1111 by Q Snap. 11 by 11 Q Snap. <coughs> I just, I can't win today. Brain. But. It is a super light lavender color. It's beautiful. And I have a couple other charts that I've favorited from Light Unicorn Designs. So I think when I get done with this, I may start another one. Because I really like them. I like the, the colors and stuff in them. Okay. Next up. I did not touch this one in... 2023, if I'm not mistaken. This is from Madame Chantilly. And it is Celebrate Autumn. Um, in fact, I'm fairly certain I did not touch this. I think it's it was one of those that... A whip that I didn't initially put in my 23 and 23 for um, Whip Warriors. And I was like, oh, when I'm ready to stitch it, I'll just add it in. Because I, I never had 23 whips at one time in that group. Um, but I just never did. So this is on a 32-count Artemis. 
And I'm fairly certain that the before picture looks like the looks like this. I do not think I touched it. But I like this fabric a lot. The white shows up so good. Artemis is a great color. There, my Chromebook was going to shut down. So, this one is on my whipcore board this year. And my hope is that I will get a lot of stitching done on it. Because I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Who's next? So that one I started September 2nd, 2021. The next one I started on my son's birthday. Um, on his 8th birthday. So, October 6th of 2021, this is Mini the Possibilities Evolutions Max Color from Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, I didn't touch it much this year. This is where it was the beginning of 2023. And that is where I'm at right now. So, I, I don't think I got a ton done on it, but it... The detail in the max color is just so good. So good. I love it. So this one will get um, definitely more, more time this year. Um, next one, Quaker Pumpkins. I started October 13th, 2021. It's from Hello from Liz Matthews. I changed it. I took the words out at the bottom and just moved the bottom border up. So I did work on this one quite a bit this fall. I, um, I was just feeling it. Like I really, I wanted to stitch it. I did not get it done, but I'm very close. This, um, bag is like the exact size of the chart. So here's where it was last year. At the beginning of the year, and it's upside down, and there it is now. This is on a 32 count vanilla latte from Be Stitch Me. So I have one pumpkin left, and then I have a crow and the border. And that's it. That is it. So this one will definitely be a finish for this year. Most definitely. Oh, and I'm using um, Victorian Motto floss. I did a floss conversion for that. All right, let's see. So this one is the first one left from 2022. This I started July 1st. Apparently, I like to start stuff on July 1st. Um, but it's a dimensions kit. And it is called Fresh Flowers. I really wanted to try a small dimensions kit um, to make sure that I wasn't going to hate my life by starting a huge one and hating it. So I started a little one first. And this thing is all confetti. There is not one bit of block stitching in this entire chart. But this one has a caveat too. Here's where it was the beginning of the year. Here's where it was as of midnight on December 31st. So you can see, not a whole lot got done on it. Anyways, so I worked on it yesterday all day because I have this on my Whipco board as a finish. And, oh, the dog. I was like, what is that? Um... And it was called for January. So I'm going to finish it. So yesterday I got uh, 912 full crosses, 218 half crosses. And now it looks like this. Most of it got stitched while I was watching football last night. But it is legit. I mean, it's all confetti. The entire thing. <laughs> 
Thankfully, now I am down to the half stitches that are here and a little bit up here. Then there's some French knots and a few X's on the outside, and then back stitching. That's all that's left. So, this one will definitely be done this year. Will definitely be done this month. Um, hopefully, when I see you guys next, it will be a finish. Because that would be exciting. Okay. Next up is T by Nora Corbett. I started this one January 24th, 2022. And this is on a unnamed fabric from Be Stitch Me. It's a 32 count. Here's where it was at the beginning of 2023. And there it is now. So I honestly, without seeing the picture, right this very second, I can't remember if I got a ton done or not. I feel like I worked on this a lot at the beginning of 2023. But I can't remember. It's, it's beautiful though. I mean, I just love it. It's so pretty. Ooh. Feeling windy outside. The sun's out. This is the perfect day to record up here. Although it's starting to go down, um, it'll probably get dark in here real fast. All right, let's see. After T is Deck the Halls by Satsuma Street. I started this one on December 9th. 2022 and it was on my whipco board um met all my goals for it just didn't get it done so it's a lot more stitching than you think deck the halls so it is a long band and i have two squares to go i have the first three done two to go So this is on a 32 count portobello from Be Stitch Me. Here's where I was at the beginning of the year. And that's where it is now. So I think I got one more block done. I don't know, you guys can see how much has been done, but um, it's so much stitching. Like Satsuma Street is always a lot of color changes anyway. But the blocks are almost full coverage. I mean, look at the tree. It's, it's a beast. It's a beastie. So don't ask me why I positioned it the way I did on this fabric. It kind of pisses me off because... Because I don't know if I'm going to have enough left to use for something else. Um. Okay, then we have Mini Casa. This is the one that I ended up working on uh for the 29th and 30th in December because I was or no it was the 30th and 31st I didn't realize how close I was this was my new year new start for 2023 so I started this on January 1st last year 366 days ago and I realized on the 30th how close I was to 20,000 stitches and I was like I only have 711 stitches to go so I did those 711 stitches. Actually, I think it was like 729. Um, so there is no before picture for this because it was a new start. So this is where it's at. 20,018 stitches in 2023. I love it. I love it. Even though the little like things on her hair. Oh. You want to see what the whole thing looks like? The little uh, things on her hair. Right there. So much confetti. Oh my gosh. So much. I was like, can I just have block stitching for 700 stitches? No. Much confetti. Okay. So none of the rest of these are going to have before pictures. Um, this is the first UFO. I'm sorry, Crystal. I started this with Crystal Rowe, um, Madame Chantilly, Winter Hot Cocoa. 
So I think it wouldn't have been an issue if I would have just done the DMC, the called for DMC. But no, I had to be all fancy and pull a bunch of coloring cotton and do a my own conversion. And this is on a uh, 32 count sand dollar from Be Stitch Me. This is all I have, and I will either pick it out or I will just use the rest of the fabric for something else. That's as far as I got. Once I started getting the raccoon done, I was like, I don't like this. I love the fabric. It's amazing. I just don't like this. So, I will either pick it out or I will just find something that fits on the um, remaining fabric. But it is my first UFO. <coughs> Sorry. Alright, next up is Sea Turtle Mama. This I do not know if it is still free on Heaven and Earth Design's website. It was from Sheena Pike. Um, it is the no background version. And I'm doing it on a 28 count unnamed Lugana from Be Stitch Me. So, oh, my needle minders are stuck together. So this is how far I got this year. I worked on it a ton at the beginning of the year. Um, not as much the rest of the year. So I haven't gritted it. I'm just basically sticking to where I've already stitched so I don't have to count too far. Um, but I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to look awesome on this fabric. I haven't ever done... Um, a no background that was a full coverage before. So this one doesn't even have a bag. I feel bad for it. Poor little thing. Um, I started that one April 28th, 2023. Oh, I didn't realize I started that in April. Um, let's see. The next one is going to be the second UFO. I'm not sure if I have a picture of this, but I if you guys like Satsuma Street, you've seen it um, finished. It's the four element cell. It's in a big circle and it has like the water, the fire, the wind, the earth, like in a circle. So I even tried working on this in December. I did a whole bunch more stitching on it and I just don't love it. I like the finished product, but I don't like it enough to stitch it. So I did this on, I dyed this fabric myself. I writ dyed it. Uh, this is where I ended up. And I just, I'll use the rest of the fabric for something else, but I, it, I just don't love it. So I'm going to de-kit this put all my floss away and um, cut this part off and save my fabric for something else. I think this is a 32 count Lugana, um, but I'm fairly certain that it shrunk a bit, so it probably is more like a 33 or 34. All right, Dog's Declaration from Ink Circles. I started this one June 24th. You may have seen this a little recently. Um, Aaron Martini Stitcher is working on this one. And um, Jen Lee, Quirks and Stitches, is working on it. She just lost her Winston um, a couple of weeks ago. And she's been working on this quite a bit. So I'm doing this on a 22 count. Do, 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 do. Where'd the tag go? Oh, is it maybe in here? Oh yeah, uh, 22 count, not another sampler from Be Stitch Me. And this is where I'm at right now. I'm doing it um, obviously over one because it's Ada, but one thread. So that's where I'm at right now. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, it's so much fun to stitch. So much fun. Oh, Janet's working on it too. Janet Jabber. 
So if you've seen it recently, you've probably seen it from one of those three. If you've seen it from someone else, let me know because maybe I don't know about them and I would like to watch them. Okay, next up was Mini Magic Autumn. This is a full coverage from Heaven and Earth Designs. Artist is Genovia Art. This is tiny. It's a mini. It's only like six inches across. Maybe 11 inches long? I can't remember for sure, for sure. But this is where I got this year. Uh, it's like 4,500 stitches. I'm doing it on a 28 count easy grid. One over one. It's super fun. And it was called this month, bro. Go. <coughs> Sorry. So I had to do uh, 3,000 stitches on it this month. And what am I working on today? Mini home for the winter. Okay. Uh, next up is, oh, Satsuma Street, Winter Woods. So I know you guys saw my start to this last time. This is on a 32 count whimsical from Be Stitch Me. And I almost had the first block done. I wasn't too worried about like sticking with the um, the uh, stitch along because this is, it's winter. It wasn't like Christmas. So I'm gonna wanna work on this in January and February. So I'm gonna go across. So it'll be, there will be a block here, then this one, the second one, the third one. So it goes, one, two, three, four. So let me. So since you saw it last, I finished the polar bear. I started working on the acorn. So it's almost done. And then I can move on to the next one. And I am using all the called for DMC. My fabric is not called for, but, um, it was what I had in my stash, and I think this color works really, really well. Okay, so then we have Hello Winter. And I have worked on this a little bit since you guys saw it last. It's from Plum Street Samplers. Again, it's a winter one, so I wasn't rushing to get it done for Christmas. Not like the Merry and Bright Stitch Along. So this is the other part of that 32 count blush linen. And I got some more of the sheep done. All his little swirls are done. Now I got to fill in the rest of the white. And those are bird feet on his back. <laughs> That's where the bird is. So it's like a very, very pale pink. And I did do a color conversion for this too. It's, um, I want to say it's all color and cotton except for the white. And the white is a classic color works color. Sorry. Hair's getting a little crazy. I'm serious about chopping it off, by the way. Like, all off. Now, these next four have been started since my last floss tube. So these are new to everyone. Unless you follow me on Instagram, CandiceK31. This is Bella Filipina. Ho oh, Holly Berry Pixie. I love it. When I started stitching on this thing, I could not stop. The only reason I stopped is because I need to roll my scroll frame, but I didn't want to do it until you guys saw it. So, this is on a... Oh, wait. 32 count Cupid. Jo no, 28 count Cupid Jobelin. From Be Stitch Me. Are you ready for this? I did everything, like all of the Krynik. The only thing I didn't do was beads, because I don't want to roll beads into here. Um, but those berries are all done. <laughs> it's like, I need to roll it, because her wings start coming in here, and her head is like right here. So I need to move it up so that I can count over from the side. But I left all of my, like... Just hang in there. <coughs> Sorry. I couldn't stitch any farther down. This fabric is amazing, though. I love it. Look at this. 
It's so good. So, set that one over there. So yeah, I have all the beads, everything in here. Um, then I started this for Semi Saint Stitchers is doing a um like a start to finish stitch along. And for winter, I decided to start Invierno from Sats and Mystery. So I started this. All right, let's see. I started Hello Winter. You guys had seen that before. Oh, wait, maybe you didn't. I started it on November 14th. I also started Holly Berry Pixie on November 14th. Invierno was started on December 4th. So, this is on a... Oh, gosh. I had the little tag and I don't know where it went. I have it in there. Oh, 32 count Silvery Moon Lugana. And I have the border done. Using all the called for. So now, my goal is to do, um, since December's over, is to do like four blocks this month and five next month. Unless I get a wild hair and decide to do like five this month. Um, but I think it needs to be finished by the end of February for the start to finish. Or is it four months? No, it's three months. So I wasted December because all I did was the border. Um, next, this is a Mill Hill kit and it is the Jim Shore Santa. Oops, sorry. Here we go. This comes with an 18 count navy blue Ada. Um, we, this is so funny that I, this is what comes to mind. We started watching the, um, or not started, we watched the first two Percy Jackson movies because my youngest has gotten really into those books. They're reading the first one at school and he flew through the first one and is on like the third one now. So he wanted to watch the movies. So I stitched this while we were watching the movies. And that's where I'm at so far. Obviously saving the beads for the end. This is not the easiest fabric to stitch on. Especially navy on navy. All right, and then the last one so the Jim Shore Santa I started on the 6th of December, and then this is Winter Woodland at Night. This is from the Historical Sampler Company. They're out of the UK, um, and it's on a 16 count black Ada because I started it. Okay, so here's the problem. I went to my l &S and I got this 32 count, right? Yeah, 32 count black Lugana. And I was just trucking. I just, hold on, let me do this. I was just trucking. Trucking, trucking, trucking. And then I realized I miscounted. See how the wreath is close on this side, far on this side? Yeah, I put one too many dots in the top right here. I had done those three boxes. Did this one because I really like that ornament, went to the wreath and realized something's not right here. All this work. Hi. Because of one miscount. So I restarted. I ordered um, Black Ada from 123Stitch and I restarted it. And I got even farther with no miscounts. So that's what it looks like now. And I still love it. So good. 
Why does that heart look off center? It looks off center on camera, but it's not. It's like perfectly even. How weird. That's so weird. Um, and I did a floss conversion. I'm using a mess. Color and cotton. Nice bright colors. I mean, they were bright colors anyway, but I really wanted to use my color and cotton stash because I have so much of it. I was in that floss club for many, many, many years. Many, many, many. Probably three. It was probably three years. So Historical Sampler Company, they do have a Facebook group. You can find them. Uh, their website is like historicalsamplercompany.com, I think. Or dot UK. Um, I have a couple of their charts. And they're just really... I really like them. I don't know. I don't know what it is. So I did not do a New Year New Start. I kind of wanted to. And I actually think I know what I'm going to do. But I don't think I'm going to start it yet. This is the chart. It's, um... I'll put the name of an artist down here because I can't remember offhand. And I don't... Oh, hold on. I have Dropbox. On here. <coughs> Sorry. I mean, maybe. Apparently our internet was acting up earlier. But anyway, this is what it looks like. I kind of want this, because it's not a mini. Um, I kind of want this to be the chart that I do tent stitch or half cross. Um, I've never done a half cross full coverage before and I, I kind of want to. And since this one's bigger, I figured it would go faster half cross. Um, it's probably a lot of confetti because it's like a watercolor, but I love it. And I've been sitting there, I've had my eye on it for well over a year and I just kept going, well, maybe I should just ask for the mini. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, no, I really do want this to be that size. I love it. So, um, oh, apparently I don't have Dropbox on this device. Whatever. I do have... Um, oh, I didn't put any of those in there. Okay. Um, I decided to try the Notions app this year. I still have a paper planner that I will just write down my stitch counts in when I'm done. Um, but I did set up the Notions app. It's because I can have it on my phone too. Um, but on my Chromebook to keep track of all my stuff. So I honestly did not think I was going to sit here and talk for an hour. Um, I hope you got a lot of stitching done while I was talking and coughing. Hopefully the next time I'm back, this cough will be completely gone. Um, I have a lot of Revlon resets coming up this month, so I need to start feeling more energetic. So I'm going to take care of all this stuff. And then um, as far as 2024 plans, um, I have a goal to finish Mini Home for the Winter. I want to start the Dragonfly um, full coverage that you just saw. And I want to get at least 50% on Evolutions. Otherwise, I only have 22 whips. But last year, something happened after that quilt retreat, and I hardly stitched it all for like three months. So if that happens again, I won't have as much progress as I would hope. So I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, I do want to be more intentional. That's it. I want to be more intentional with my spending. Um, that's the word I was looking for earlier when I sat here like a doof. Um, but I also want to be more intentional about my crafting. So I want to make time for sewing and for knitting and for cross stitch. I don't want to just like have one be super heavy with progress and then everything else kind of slipped by the wayside again. I have a lot of quilt fabric downstairs. I have a lot of ideas that I want to do. 
I have cross stitch pieces I want to finish. I have things I want to knit, but I'm not giving myself that time because I just sit and stitch. So I need to um, make other things a priority too. So that's all I have. I hope you guys had a good new year. I hope the first couple of days of 2024 are going well. <coughs> and I'm so sorry for all the coughing. Um, but I'm going to get back to watching wet parades and stitching on Mini Home for the Winter. So I will see you guys next time. It'll probably be in a week or two, I hope. Um, all depends on this lovely nastiness that has invaded my chest. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching and happy 2024. Bye.